When you think of a thermometer, you might imagine something like this. But it turns out we can make our own thermometer with items that are mostly found just around the house. Our thermometer is going to be liquid-based, as thermometers have been for hundreds of years. Our liquids that we'll use is water and rubbing alcohol. I'm starting with a half cup of room temperature water. Now we want the same amount, a half cup, of our rubbing alcohol. Make sure a parent's around for this part. Now we add some food coloring. Red is an obvious choice because most thermometers use red liquid. Just a couple drops will do. Now we need a clear straw and some molding clay or Play-Doh. Seal the Play-Doh over the opening tightly. We want the only air moving in and out of the bottle to have to travel through this straw. The clay also holds the straw in place. We want it in the liquid, but we don't want it to touch the bottom. Now we're at the point for what this thermometer is all about. The level will change with the temperature. As the temperature rises, the air expands, and that's going to push the liquid up the straw. Then when it gets colder, it contracts, which leads to a lower level on our thermometer. We'll use ice cubes to get the temperature down to freezing. This will take a bit, so you'll have to wait a couple minutes. Now I'm going to use an actual thermometer to confirm the temperature. This is called calibrating our thermometer. The temperature in our cup of ice bottomed out at around 8 Celsius, and our thermometer, that's just above the baseline, so I'm going to mark that on our bottle. Now we'll do the same thing with warm water. Our hot water maxed out at 33 Celsius. Now we mark that on the bottle. So our temperature range is 46 Fahrenheit to 91 Fahrenheit, and we measured that at 6 centimeters. So you could calculate the full scale by figuring out how many degrees rise per centimeter. Now you've got your own thermometer. You can take it around the house, and the cool spots are where the thermometer falls. The warm spots are where it rises. That's awesome. So why do you use rubbing alcohol instead of water? So we use a mixture there because uh, rubbing alcohol has a uh, lower freezing point. So okay. if you just use water, it drops to 32 degrees, it starts icing over, but alcohol, you'll continue to have that thermometer work with cooler temperatures. And with modern thermometers, we are getting away from mercury. Alcohol is pretty common. Oh, okay. Very cool. That's awesome, Brandon. Thank you, man.